Do you walk into your practice room wondering what you are going to practice? Do you absolutely have no clue what to practice? You don't know what to do and you want it all laid out for you? Well, I've got you covered in this video. Hi, I'm Heather Kay. I train violinists all over the world how to improve violin technique and play with gorgeous tone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a formula on how to create your own 15 minute practice routine, which can easily be turned into 30 minutes. And this practice routine focuses on specific violin techniques. So what I want you to do is think of your top five techniques you want to improve on. And you can go ahead and leave the in the comment below what are your top five techniques you want to improve on. And what we're going to do is for each technique, practice for three minutes. Most popular techniques that I hear violinists wanting to improve are intonation, scales, bowing, shifting, vibrato. For vibrato, you can create an exercise where you just focus on every single day working on your specific fingers. So you just vibrate one finger at a time. And you can find out which of your fingers is a weaker finger. Perhaps it's your one or your four. And you want to spend more time on those weaker fingers of practicing vibrato every day. Okay, so for three minutes, devote to vibrato. Shifting, there's different types of shifts. There's a same finger shift and a different finger shift. So decide which shifts you want to work out and start honing in specifically on shifting. Same finger shifts. You can practice your same finger shifts three minutes a day, just going from one finger in one position to the same finger in a new position. Any position, first to third, second to seventh, fourth to sixth, whatever it is you want to improve upon. Intonation. Scales are a great way to improve your intonation. So for three minutes a day, pick a scale that you want to focus on. I would suggest going to your pieces and finding out what key your piece is in. So say your piece is in D minor. So you can work on playing D minor scales, whatever position you want to play them in. scales without vibrato so you can really work in on the intonation that you're centered on the pitch. If you play anything out of tune, stop and go to the note before the note that was out of tune and work out those two notes to improve your intonation. Bowing. All right, so bowing. We'll spend three minutes on bowing and what you can do. I'm going to give you my biggest tip to improve your bowing. You want to be able to have motion and flexibility in these fingers. If we're bowing with the claw or with straight fingers, it's going to be really hard to have good bow changes, okay? So we want these to be really relaxed and flexible. So how do you work this out? Three minutes a day, I would work on just moving fingers only. And at the frog, this is your goal, is to be able to do this at the frog, you can just start in the middle of the bow. You can practice this finger flexibility in the, in the middle of the bow. Just to get them moving, okay? The other one I mentioned was position. So pick a position. What position do you feel really insecure on? Sixth position, seventh position, second position, whatever it is. You want to focus in on working in that position. And I would suggest scales and also working with etude books so that you can practice reading in that specific position. If you're needing some fresh etude books to work out your positions, definitely head on over to my bookshop. I'll leave a link in the description below and also up in the corner, you'll find a link to the bookshop and you can find my position books to practice your positions with. Another great three minute segment would be to improve your tone with open string practice. I encourage all my violinists who work with me and also work in my Gorgeous Tone Academy to practice open strings every day as a warm up, three to five minutes a day, since we're doing three minutes right now. You can do three minutes on A string and what you wanna do is just practice from frog to tip. So we'll take it from the frog. from 
frog to tip and tip to frog and just do that every single string and focus in on your tone. Okay, these are just examples of what you can do and you would do it three minutes a day for each of these. And if you want to increase your practice time to 30 minutes, you can go ahead and do them six minutes a day. Now, if you want to take all the guesswork out of it, I've created a calendar for you and not just for one month, but for all the months in a year. So 12 months of practice routines laid out for you. All you have to do is go to your practice room, look at your calendar and you see what you can work on. So for example, I have here on one of the days, third position, D major, scale, bow changes at the frog, half bows to work in third position, mixed bowings, multi-strings, double stops, quadruple stops. So all different techniques are on here and it's kind of fun because then you can just check it off and that way it'll get you started in your practice routine and you are good to go and most likely you'll practice more than 15 or 30 minutes when you have a guideline like this. So I created this for you. 12 months of practice calendars with specific techniques of what to practice and a checklist that you can use online or you can print up and have it on your violin stand. I'll leave a link in the description below and you can go ahead and purchase your yearly practice calendar for only $18 and I've also put a link in the corner above. You can check it out there too. So have fun practicing and beat the overwhelm of what to practice. If you like this video, definitely subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for every new video and share it with your violinist friends that are suffering from I don't know what to practice syndrome and have fun working with the calendar. Ciao!